This is a 75.6 volt charger that I bought from China. Two and a half amps. Every time I get something from China that I plug in the mains, before I plug it in the mains, I always take it apart. No, actually, I've checked it. I've plugged it in and checked it, and it is 75.6 volts. Um, this does constant current, constant voltage, and also variable voltage and variable current. So what happens is, as it's charging the batteries, we'll say it's on a, on a peak like that, the voltage, not the voltage, the current drops off as it starts getting up to its maximum voltage, up to 75.6 volts. Now I don't know where it cuts off, I think it's a 75 volts, it'll go blah. When the battery gets to 75 volts, it'll start dropping off like that. Now I'm only going to charge my batteries to 4.1 volts per cell instead of the full 4.2 volts purely because it prolongs the life of the batteries if you don't charge them fully. And it'll still give me about 20-25 miles range which is plenty for a Sunday blast. Anyway, after I've checked the voltage output it is correct. Now I've noticed on here, and I've already taken the potting off, but there's actually a pot there for the output voltage. So if I wanted to, I could raise the voltage. I don't know how far it'll go up and down. It's probably only a couple of volts. Now one thing I noticed, and it's one of the reasons why I always take everything apart. You see these retainer here, for these, uh, keep these FETs onto this aluminium housing. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it, but... No, it's not going to focus, is it? It's actually touching one of the legs. So that's why I take things apart. And on a positive note, it's nice to see that they've actually attached the earth wire to the casing, just in case something does go short and it doesn't take your arm off and kill you. So, what I'm going to do is put it all back together after I've loosened that screw off and straighten that bloody bar, put it all back together and here's my new power supply. These are only 30 quid, believe it or not, which I'm really impressed with. Um, I'm not going to be using any more than 2.5 amps, any more than you're risking damaging the batteries. In actual fact, they'll they'll take up to five amps. But if you, you know, it, it prolongs the life of the batteries. That's all. I could put five amps through it, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to put it all back together, and I'm going to test it while I'm on. This is the BMS that I've been working on, um, which is absolutely fantastic piece of kit but mine broke the bluetooth module which is actually on on board uh, where's it go oh, I don't know where the hell's that go it's in there anyway oh there the bluetooth module actually sits in there but it popped uh, there's a regulator inside a three uh, three point three volt regulator which popped so what I had to do was, on there there's a 3.3 volt regulator and I've now got the Bluetooth external, which is even better because I can put it where I want it then, get more range on it. Now this does um, between 8 and 24 cells. You can actually buy them that do more cells, uh, but this is only the 24, that's all I need. Um, it comes, or, or you can buy it with an LCD, which I have got, hang on, found it, so it comes with this LCD, now there's a STM32 processor on there to process all the data coming in, in from these, these balance wires, and on the display itself there's an STM32, no it's an STM8 I think it is, um, which basically decodes the data coming from there. This plugs into the BMS, um, 
what it does is it sends data from here or it sends a request from here to the BMS to send data back to this then it decodes the data and it displays it on screen but the bad part about it is it's in bloody Chinese so the majority of this is in English I'm not going to show you because it can't be asked um, the majority of it's in English but there are some screens that are in Chinese so I'm not going to be using that I'm not I'm not using it I don't need it anyway let's move that out of the way hang on I'm going to put that on its end because otherwise the glare off it affects the bright blur, the the white balance and everything else on the camera so here's my phone um, what I'll do is I've only got eight cells connected at the moment just for testing because that's the minimum we actually do that's the charge negative and this one is oh, come on. this ain't gonna work right this is how it's going so I've got all my balance wires plugged in there's the batteries they're linked um, positive to negative so as that puts those in series um, this is the power negative that goes to the battery like that and then you hold the power button and it turns on you open the software and it connects to the BMS and it's now connected to the BMS um, I've had to convert all this into English because it was all in Chinese literally everything was in Chinese it was just ridiculous so you've got a uh, you've got your settings screen and you can see all the parameters that you can change it's just ridiculous so I can set the over voltage uh, alarm that, so that there's actually a beeper on there that will go off if that goes over voltage so if my charger breaks down or something goes wrong with the BMS it will sound the alarm, sound the alarm. Um, power under voltage, charge over voltage, oh it's ridiculous anyway I've got all that set up here we've got the charge screen which tells you where the charge power and the balance uh, status is and it tells you the, the, the temperatures of absolutely everything you've got four external temperature sensors and you've got two internal temperature sensors which are on here there's one connected to the balance resistors and there's one connected to the MOSFET discharge connect, uh, um, the MOSFET discharge part of it and then I've got another screen which is the run screen which isn't finished yet which is going to have dials on it if you want to balance your um, you want to balance all your cells you just click on the balance thing and it tells you it's sent to center command confirmations come back and then if we go on to charge it says balancing cells and then it will give you the voltage of the cells which one's the highest which one's the lowest and the, the, the difference between the cells like that and also the BMS is flashing away and then I can turn that turn that off so now it's stopped um, you can turn power off, charge off and you say it says manually stop now there's so many things it's the most advanced BMS I've ever seen and for the price of it now because they've come down from 400 and something quid to about 80 quid so if you want the best and I've got the software which I'm still working on now uh, this is that my software is actually listed on the Chinese website on Aliexpress so if you want the software let me know if you're gonna buy one of these let me know again I'd like to know how many people are gonna buy these things because they are by far the best BMS I've actually seen 
get one you know you want to there's no affiliate link it's just a link to the product so I don't I don't get anything from it and that's it oh the other thing as well if you go into the settings and you select one of them it tells you what the setting does which I've had to again translate into English and also modify a few things because it was um, it was a bit stupid you know anyway done this is a 75.6 volt 2.5 amp charger that I bought from China because that's where I get my... St why is that dark? is that dark? Uh. That looks dark to me because of that. Yeah. This is the new BMS which I've decided I'm going to fit today. I don't want to. I've got to, but I don't want to.